Let's get to work. We start at 7 p.m. Eastern. Boston Bruins, 11-3-2, and 6-2-2 on the road at the New York Rangers, 6-8-3, and 3-5-2 at home. The market has just come out. So I've been waiting for it. It has just come out. We have Boston at minus 170 or minus 172. It's not available at the licensed legal books, and that's what we use here on odds.com. The total is sitting at five and a half, and it's juiced to the under. And I'm back in the Boston Bruins here. We're at Madison Square Garden in New York, New York. Tuka Rask will be in between the pipes, 7-2-1, and 2.55 goals against average, 9-1 safe percentage. He really hasn't gotten rolling. This is a nice opportunity for him to get rolling against Alexander Georgiev. 2-2-2, two, 2.95 two and two, 2. goals against average, 0. 0.893 save percentage with one shutout. The Bruins power play, Bruins special teams has been excellent. 30% power play, 87.7% penalty killing. That's how you win in the National Hockey League. The Rangers special teams has been, the penalty killing has been excellent, 84.4%. The power play has been, it's struggled. And Truba has been hurt. Uh, D'Angelo left the team because he was an issue in the dressing room. He... The power play has not been rolling, and now Panarin, because of this, these issues with the Russian government and, and for not supporting Putin and having these charges against them, these bullshit charges against them, now you lose your best offensive talent. And Zibanejad has not had a good year this year. This 14.9% power play will likely drop. It will get worse. Start with the Bruins. There's a reason why they haven't looked very good. They've lost three or four. Their defense is dealing with a ton of injuries. They're on the second half of a back-to-back after losing 7-2 to the Islanders tonight, Thursday evening. It was exactly the outcome I wanted for this bet. The Bruins defense beat up Grizzlick. Grizzlick? Grizzlick? God, I always mess up pronouncing his name. Is on IR, and Kevin Miller is dealing with a knee injury. 2015 second-round pick Jeremy Lauzon is also out of the lineup. 2015 first-round pick... Jacob Zborl returned to the lineup tonight. So he and he played 19 and a half minutes. He looked good. He'll be in the lineup tomorrow night. And Grizzle is skating. He could return tonight. He would help immensely. There was a thought that he might play on Thursday night against the Islanders, but he's in New York and he may be in the lineup tonight. I hope he is. He will help. They need to right the ship. And this is a nice opportunity to do that. And this isn't as much a bet on the Bruins, although I do like backing them after a 7-2 loss when they don't have to travel and they have another game in New York. This is a fade of the Rangers. They handled their first game without Artemi Panarin well. 4-3 loss at Philly on Wednesday night, but it will just get harder from here. So Panarin out of the lineup, Capocacco out of the lineup. That's a loss of a lot of firepower. Alexis Lafreniere is under a lot of pressure to replace Panarin on the first line. He's shown us no signs that he's capable of doing it in his rookie season. On defense, Truba out with a broken thumb. He's supposed to be the anchor back there. And then Keandre Miller now on the COVID list. That's a lot to take uh, handle. So now, so really you've lost D'Angelo as well. I mean, you could say that they don't have three of their top four defensemen. In the lineup now, I know D'Angelo had a bad year last year, but if you or sorry, bad year this year, but if we looked at what he did in the second half of last year, he was very impressive. What do we do when a team is missing three of their top four defense and we fade them? And I'm going to be fading them non stop moving forward. Now, I did not fade them in that first game against the Flyers, I would have been rewarded, although I would have taken the Flyers on the minus one and I would have pushed. I wanted to that usually that first game without your star, the team steps up and it just gets a little harder and a little harder and a little harder. I'm on the Boston Bruins minus one, and I don't have a market yet. I know there is a market coming up, but I don't have one available. And I also have interest in the Rangers uh, team total under two and a half. So I'll have to see what that is because if it's juiced, I don't want it. But And it's probably juiced. It's, it's likely juiced because this is at a five and a half, heavily juiced to the under. Boston Bruins minus one to get my card started.